In the biggest media deal in Australian history, the owner of the Nine Television Network is taking over newspaper publisher Fairfax Media. If approved by shareholders and regulators, the enlarged Nine Entertainment will be the biggest media company in the country, worth $4 billion. And after 177 years, the Fairfax Media name will disappear. Carrington Clark begins our coverage. Nine tells its audience the news. The two businesses agreeing to terms to merge. They are calling it a merger, but this is a takeover. The heads of the two companies strode out in a carefully choreographed show of unity. <laughs> Fairfax journalists only found out the news when the stock market did this morning. Their boss sending a short email thanking everyone for their contribution to Fairfax. It is a great disappointment and it's very sad. Nine shareholders will own 51.1% of the company, with the rest going to Fairfax. The two companies are already 50-50 partners in Stan, the digital streaming service. Nine Entertainment's main asset is its television network, alongside a number of websites. It will now add Fairfax's news titles from across the country, including regional mastheads, and radio stations 3AW, 2GB and 6PR. But the jewel in the crown is the highly profitable real estate site Domain, in which Fairfax owns a majority stake. But what they're really acquiring is a controlling stake in Domain, which is nearly two thirds of Fairfax's valuation at the moment. The takeover is only possible because of changes to media ownership laws brought in last year. And today, the Prime Minister was taking credit. This will make both businesses, both the Fairfax business and the Nine Network business, stronger. The deal means that Nine now has control of the Fairfax newspapers. And analysts are suggesting there could be more deals on the way. The most likely candidate for a tie-up is News Corp and Channel 7. There's been a close relationship between Kerry Stokes, the head of Seven, and, and News Corp and, and the Murdochs. And so I, that is definitely a possibility on the table. There are concerns about less diversity in Australian media. It's a very predictable uh, and concerning uh, development um, in the ongoing media concentration saga in Australia, uh, which is one of the most concentrated media markets in the world. We have real concerns for the future of Australian media and the future of Australian democracy. The competition watchdog still needs to OK the deal. The ACCC says it expects to take 12 weeks to investigate. Carrington Clark, ABC News. Nine Entertainment has promised to keep the Fairfax brands, including the Brisbane Times, Sydney Morning Herald, The Age and the Financial Review. And for now, at least, printed newspapers will still be published. But questions remain over whether newsrooms will change and what that would mean for journalism. Chief Economics Correspondent Emma Alberici looks at the end of an era for Fairfax Media. The Sydney Morning Herald, The Age, The Financial Review. For more than 150 years, they've been among the most venerated brands in the country, synonymous with independent news and fearless investigations. The Fairfax boss assuring staff that won't change. You can all be confident that the culture of independent journalism uh, will not just survive but thrive. Journalists at Fairfax have been responsible for breaking stories that have put politicians in jail. They've revealed such bad behaviour in business, it's led to the Banking Royal Commission. The demise of the Fairfax name is a cause of great regret for the man who steered the company as chairman for 12 years. Is this merger, do you think, in the best interests of Australian audiences and readers? Well, what's the alternative? In time, if those trends continue, there would be no Fairfax anyway. This graph tells the story. Compare the Fairfax share price to the big online classified businesses, realestate.com, car sales and Seek. Since their launch 20-odd years ago, each one on their own has become several times more valuable than Fairfax Media. Even with today's deal, Fairfax is worth less than $2 billion. In fact, the most attractive part of the business for Nine is the online property group Domain, 60% owned by Fairfax. 
Ten years ago, Fairfax employed 11,000 people. Today, it's much less than half that. A spokesman for Fairfax told the ABC this deal is not about losing journalists. With the two media companies coming together, there'll be a duplication of marketing departments, legal and other back office functions. We're told that's where the $50 million in savings will come from. Emma Alberici, ABC News.